Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am updating my BTS OT7 collection. I definitely waited way too long to do this. I'm so, so sorry, but this is gonna be a pretty long video. So I hope you enjoy, get your snacks, get your drinks, and let's just get to it. In terms of like the stuff that we're updating, this is the pile that we're looking at. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy my company. Let's do this. First off, we're starting in my album binder. So Korean and Japanese. I don't collect much Japanese, which may change in the future. <laughs> Although, I'm not really sure whether or not it will. Depends how much BTS is gonna keep releasing. So we're going to start actually in the butter section. And finally, I have the last three cards for this, which is Jin, Yoongi, and Jimin. Oh, these ones are still top loading. Oh, my cards just fell. So Jin down here, Yugi, and Jimin. Oh, I might fix the glare quickly. That page is finally complete, and now we are going into proof. So for proof, I collected RM for this. I don't know whether I was still going to try and do OT7 for the film strips. I did take them out of the actual plastic sleeves because I've seen people start to get a bit damaged from them because they don't look to be PVC free. But I'm going to put RM down here and whether or not I get the other members. Yeah, <laughs> if they drop down in price, I will. But they fit so nicely in here and I'll sleeve them eventually, maybe in currency sleeves or something similar to that. But that's where I am at with those two. Uh, in terms of proof, I am basically almost done. I did manage to get another JK postcard so from the standard edition. Nice, nice. He can go down here. I have run out of the bigger four pocket pages. I've, I link everything down below that I use. I've seen a lot of people using different stuff recently, different pages, doing different setups. So it's really, really interesting to see how everyone arranges their binder. I feel like I need to like sit down and go through mine and work out what I'm doing because I've seen people like put broadcast in with like album PCs now when I need to set up for like vinyls and all that kind of thing. But for now, my binder has pretty much stayed the same, especially around Christmas time. I'm working a lot, so I don't really have time to just sit down and rearrange it, even though I would love to. Uh, but then I have this Yungi card. Oops, sorry if I hit you. I need to sit down and make fillers as well. Like I don't have anything to go in this page yet. Uh, so Yungi there, and I also have Tay's. Cutie cutie. Uh, Jin is on the way, but I didn't, I don't know what I'm gonna put in JK's spot because unless you're new to my channel, uh, I have my own binder for JK, so his is in there. I might, I'm gonna update his next, so if you'd like to see that, uh, that will be the next video. I subscribe down below if you wanna see it. I have a fair amount to update for him, so that'll be pretty cool, but I just don't know what I'm gonna put here because I normally put an unofficial card in here, but I don't think I'll be able to like photocopy these very well. But yeah, as I was saying, I need to put something in these corners. Don't know what yet, uh, but that page is done. Here I have the Yungi. Yungi, 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 Bungi. Sorry if you hear the dog or the birds. I've been waiting for so long for like complete silence and I don't think it exists at my house. I also managed to come across another group card. I pulled this card. I'm just gonna fill it up down here. And as I said, I photocopied JK's card sometimes. This is a like, terrible photocopy though. It like went really like green looking. So maybe I could try and double collect him or buy an unofficial one off of Wish. But yeah, that page is basically done. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, this one, still need to make a filler, but for now I'm just going to put in a collected RM's Weverse pre-order benefit. Still trying to get OT7 for these, but only have uh, Tay June. So eventually I'll do that. Not waiting for prices to drop or just come across good deals for them. But that's that page at the moment. Really, really beautiful. I really like it. And then eventually when I get more of the Weverse pre-order benefits, I'll make its own page. If you checked out my last video, my last mail haul, you would see that I did get the collector's edition. So this is the PC set from that. I think this is door concept. <laughs> 
Uh, so I'm going to put these ones in here. Again, need to do something for JK's spot and make feathers. That's in there like that. And then for this one, which was the antidote, an antidote, antidote set, which I think is actually my favorite set from Proof now. They're just so adorable and colorful. This is a really, really cute Jin PC as well. Oh, he slid out a little bit. I haven't actually gotten any of Jin's album yet. I need to, I don't know. I, I've been slacking a little bit on the merch since coming back from Korea. I haven't got his album and I haven't got like the other photo books, not even the, the group photo book. I think I'm just gonna buy them all second here because just postage is way too expensive. Unless I just get them all and send them to my KID and post out at once. That, that yeah, I'll probably eventually end up doing that. But there is that set. So I need to get uh, yeah, Jin's album, RM's album is now coming out and I need to get the photo books. Uh, I think the next photo book will be Jin and Tay because their birthdays are up next. So maybe I could just do one big order and one big haul doing that. But that's that set. Again, it looks pretty bad without like revamping it and making it look good at the moment. I might just do like a full video making my binder look good. But yeah, need to get some JKs in here. Here I have this set. This is the AR card set. I discovered that these actually fit in the Andy Jack six pockets. So I'm going to slide them in, but they have to go in unsleeved. It's kind of like worries me slightly but for the satisfaction of not having to put them in four pockets it's worth it for me if you do this you have to be kind of careful with the corners though because it is a very tight fit so you've got to be careful my hands are pretty clean and dry as well i don't want to touch the backs too much because they got the hollow back Ooh, it's tight <laughs> I did a rude joke then, but I'm going to remove it. RM. And also, like, with the backs, RM should actually be first because his proof on the back actually says proof. Like, they go down in the order of proof, transforming into the BTS symbol. But I normally do this in age order, so I don't really mind. Oh, that one went, <laughs> that went in really easy. So yeah, there it is, and JK is in his own binder, so it worked out kind of well. Yeah, see what I mean? So RM has the word proof full on, but I don't mind it, so it's okay. Next up are uh, the massive 3D cards. At first I did like these, but now I don't because they are so thick and bulky. If you're wondering what sleeves I use, in putting them in these, they don't slide around because it fits the actual pocket page. There is definitely like sleeves that you can get that fit these exact, but I just keep using these and moving everything to the center of the page. They look cool, but they just, they're just so bulky and heavy and I'm really, really scared that they're gonna press down on everything else. That's why I put them at the back of this section. So the only thing that they can really, like with the weight of all this, the only thing they can really damage is the, in the song pieces, which my set's already damaged. So there and there, and then we have Jimin. These are really nice though. I reckon there would be a nice set with like the postcards that came in the exhibition, the proof exhibition. How you got them looking up at you with their hand as the other postcard, but it doesn't really make sense to put them in with the album stuff. Uh, and then I don't know what to put down here. I've seen people put in like the, the little piece of paper that talks about opening it up on a flat surface, like the, the album, but I'm not gonna lie, I did sell the album. I had nowhere to put it, it was so heavy and mine had a lot of trouble opening. And no matter what I did, I couldn't, I couldn't get it open easy and it annoyed me. Also like the photos were pretty, similar to the other, like the standard edition. And I think I was fine just having the standard edition. So I found someone who wanted just the album, just the photo book, uh, the premium photos as well. So they have taken them on. I hand delivered it to them. So 
yeah, I know that it's gone to a good home and maybe if I was living out of home, I would have kept it. I can buy it back one day maybe if I ever want it back, but I'm fine just having the, the standard edition with that photo shoot and I got the photo cards out of it. So that was the main reason I purchased it. The, the interview wasn't even in English though. So I, I still need to look up online the translations to really get the experience of it. So anyway, I, yeah, I, I sold it. It was my birthday gift to myself, but please understand it was just not, it just wasn't really what I expected and it was so expensive and it came damaged to me. So yeah and the, the money that i got from it went towards korea which i didn't expect to go so if i had known that i was going to that i probably would not have purchased it so yeah <laughs> i i am looking at going back kind of soon though because i just i as soon as i came back i, I wanted to go again it was just so amazing being there. I have already double collected JK for this. So in the SOM is done. Again, need to make fillers. I think there is some like s stores and uh, shops on Instagram, shops, people on Instagram that make fillers. So maybe I could research more into that and see whether or not people have made some stuff for these, but that is done. Next up is finally J-Hope's album. I'm going to put it in here so it's just like a continuation. I actually just watched In Love Tay's, I think, these uh, recent binder update and she gave all of the solos a five binder, but I think I'm just going to continue it on in this. Yes, but I did like the idea of putting an A5 binder and making it in not fanchant order. She's going to do fanchant order, but I think I would like to do age order not release order but for now i'm just gonna put hobies in here because it's just that that's the only one that i really have pcs for so far so i'm just gonna lay them out and see so doubles of these doubles of these pre-orders and the random pcs the one in the middle i would like to try and get the vinyl i think if anyone uh, on makari ends up just selling the pc like they, they collected just the vinyl because the vinyl looks absolutely stunning. It's like a colored vinyl, really, really pretty. Uh, so I might try to do that. I didn't end up getting his Hybe Insight Lucky Drawers or anything. I think they are very difficult to come by now because they never restocked them. But yeah, I still love this PC. <laughs> My favorite song of his album is Still More. Still More, it just gets me. <laughs> I really, really love it. Yeah, that's Hobie's album in there. Uh, next up would be Gin. So I, as I said, I'm just probably purely gonna purchase Gin's on resale. It's like hollow PCs and that kind of thing. And then after that will be Nam Tunes. <laughs> but I wanted to ask whether or not people thought, like, is this actually like Jin's solo that's happening right now? Or was it just one song? Because he said that he was going to be last, so whether or not this is just one song before he goes to the military and then when he comes back he's going to release his actual proper solo album. I, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, but yeah, just maybe leave your comments down below what you think is happening, whether or not he will get an actual full solo album with a couple more songs, but I don't, I don't know anymore. Uh, I've had a couple of different opinions from different people. <laughs> this is what I put my binder up with. So I'd like to hear what people say. Next binder is this one, which is also very full. I'm definitely gonna have to try and get a new binder very, very soon. Sorry if I'm too zoomed in, I might be too zoomed in. Um, postcards I think are up to date. So the, yeah, as I said, I need to make some fillers, make some changes, make it look a bit more aesthetic, but I do have this, is this just a photo? Yeah, this is just a photo to go in. And this one, so these were from the memories. Um, they're not postcards, so normally the Blu-ray comes with a postcard. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do for now, and I hate it. It will not stay like this. It's really not fitting. Uh, I will come back. No, wait, maybe I'm just going to change this. I will come back to it one day, I think. Oh, was I going to put this somewhere else? 
This is Memories. Maybe I could put it down there once I get a double of JK for this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of annoyed that they went with just a live photo for this. Uh, in terms of, do I have an extra page here? Because they also decided to not give us regular size stuff for the Blu-ray. These are really, really pretty. Don't get me wrong. That is really, really weird size. It would be good if they did fit in a six pocket, but they don't. I've seen a lot of people put them in like four pockets like this. I really don't like having that much space around things. So I have devised a plan of what I would like to do with them. Whether or not I'll keep it like this. I have just realized that I cannot put it on the back of this because it's not going to work. I would have to put it on the front of a page. So I'll, I'll give you a vision of what I'm thinking, but it's not going to stay like this because it's not going to work. Okay, so that is kind of what I was thinking, but it's not going to stay like that <laughs> because it you got the postcards on the back. You got these on the back. It doesn't work, but in its own page. So not with these postcards on the back. These are still going to be in its own like page and like have a two page spread, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Does anyone else have any other like ideas? Oh, I just got an email saying seven page taco updated. <laughs> I am still reading that, but I'm a little bit behind. I wonder if anyone else is still reading it anyway, but that, that's, uh, 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 yeah, and anyway, let's move on because they annoy me. Uh, we're going into the tour section so here. We should have a little bit to put in. So, oh no, I was wrong. We have a fair amount to put in. I have her film strips. So I'm deciding that the pop-up is actually now tour merch because they eventually released it as tour merch on Weverse and you could also buy them at the Busan Stadium so I am going to put these in here. I have ordered some four pockets that go like as four sleeves which I'm going to use instead so once that arrives this will be rearranged again uh, and they will be filling up the spots with these two uh, freebies that I was gifted from Seesaw Wings so they will be going into this as well. Either that or I put in an extra JK that I have with the little thing that explains what merch it is, but I kind of like those a bit better than that option. So this is, this looks a bit ugly because there's so much space around them, but yeah, that's it for now. It would have been good if they fit in. Oh, they're facing the wrong way. It would have been good if they fit in six pocket, but alas, we cannot always have good things. So next up is the Polaroid photos. Don't have sleeves that actually fit these yet, but I am going to put this in a six pocket, which is so satisfying. Really wish that those other Polaroids would do this for the memories, but we can deal with it. Hybe needs to hire an army so that they could tell them this stuff and tell them what size sleeves we use and tell them not to use PVC for sleeves for their binders. If they didn't do that, it would be so much easier. They'd probably sell a lot more binders because people wouldn't have to repurchase sleeves to fit them. But yeah, there is the six of them in. That's really, really cute. This kind of set has eight. And luckily enough, the set actually came with eight. So I repurchased JK's for this and we're gonna put them in here. Also watched the Nian Yan Yungi binder update and she has been using side loading sleeves for eight pockets. I think hers actually side load like that way and that way from the middle, but these ones side load from the side. Uh, if, you, if, uh, <laughs> sorry, if you are on this side of the world where Australia is, you can purchase these from Love Me Sleeve Me. She has a, a quite a fair amount left I'm pretty sure but once they're gone they will not be restocking so I have restocked up on them very much so because I'm replacing all my sleeves with these ones so yeah just just a little FYI she's also getting some bigger four pockets so you won't have to go to Andy Jack to get those big four pockets which is a joy but that's that sleeve filled up so cute I feel like the person who designed that 
knew what we wanted and what we liked. Even gave us the group card. It has a little take hook movement. <laughs> so cute. Yay. Backs are a bit boring, but it's okay. Next up is another OT7 set that I decided to keep. I was a little bit iffy about keeping this because I, I maybe could have sold them because the hotel room is so expensive. But these, this is the set of uh, hotel PCs from the Busan hotel that I stayed in. And I'm going to put them in here as well as a tour item. Because you did have to purchase a hotel room to get these PCs, double collecting JK was more difficult for it, so I have just photocopied his. <laughs> so yeah, his is a little photocopy down here. It's definitely not like high quality or anything. I wish I had a better photocopier machine, but yeah, it just fills in the spot and completes the set. Also down here is the PC that came with like the hoodie, so it worked out kind of well. Yeah, fills up the spot nicely. Really pretty backs, some of the best backs they've ever done. And that's it for that set. Oh, no, wait, we are going, sorry. I completely forgot about these. Um, I don't think I ever said in my vlog that I had, but I did end up collecting OT7 for the Lucky Draws that came with the albums in Busan. Uh, it was pretty easy to do. And I don't know, I was overcome by something there and thought, effort, we're gonna do it. So, here are the QTs. Should these go here or should they go in album? They maybe should go in the album binder, but... Oh, actually, I don't know. I normally do put Lucky Draws in album, but then I do have some... Hmm, maybe I should put these in album. But then again, they're in Dalmajung. <laughs> um, so maybe I should put them with Dalmajung merch. They're in Dalmajung theme. In any case, it's a photocopy. I've been having some conversations with people about whether or not we're actually going to get season's greetings this year. I, I, I just don't know. I would have thought definitely, definitely, because they've never missed a year. And it, it seems really easy to just pre-shoot it. I, I don't know, because in the photo book that they have, the Me, Myself and BTS photo folio, it comes with a calendar, so... I hope they still release Season's Greetings. It's some of my favourite merch, so... But anyway, there's the OT7 set of that in. Love cuties! And the back should look really nice. Yeah! <laughs> nice and purple. Purple, purple. Purple. They're like thick, like credit cards again. Really, really happy that I decided to do that. And I'm pretty sure I don't have anything for muster. But at the back of this binder is actually... Dun 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 dun! Seasonal, <laughs> which will be Dalmajang. So I completed last year's Dalmajang uh, after I decided that I wasn't going to do OT7, but it was so beautiful that I blacked out and did it. So as soon as Dalmajang came out this year, I thought, I'm doing it. Straight away, I'm doing it. And I have completed it all but two PCs. Two PCs I'm missing, which is the second Soul Food for Jimin, which is on the way. And the second selfie for JK, which is also on the way, I think. So yes, uh, we are now going to put them all in. I might fast forward this clip because I feel like this is going to be just a lot of footage otherwise. So please enjoy this ASMR as I do this.
Okay, we are done. We are done. I know that I don't see the backs of the cards by doing that, but you get to see the back of this first set by having Aram facing inwards. And then by having Tay at the back here, you get to see the back of that set as well in that way. To be honest, I don't really like the pattern that they went with for this. This just looks a bit odd to me. It would have been good if these were all dark and these two were light and these, I, I don't know. It was an interesting choice on their part. Um, yeah, it's, it looks a little bit messy to me, so I'm fine not seeing these backs as much. But there is RM set complete, Jen set complete, Yungi set complete. I think Yungi's is my favourite, especially uh, this card. So gorgeous. It's just, it, it looks really nice, like the hue and the tone of his. Uh, then we have Hobie's set. Like these are very kind of yellow, these two. Like there was too much light on his face for the selfies. Uh, Jimin set, still need his second one here. And then we have Tay's set. Tay's is also really nice as well. Maybe I like the, the grey hung box. Yeah, really, really pretty. Although Tay's, Tay's selfie PCs are not selfies. It's always funny how he, like they're meant to be selfies, but he doesn't do selfies. I mean, the selfies are um probably just the camera and they're just pretending that it's a selfie, but it's... I don't know, maybe it is a real selfie. <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah, so that's the end of that. Uh, yet to be seen whether or not we're getting Christmas merch this year. I'm kind of hoping we don't because there seems to be a fair amount that is going to come out at the end of this year. <laughs> uh, but if we do, if we do, if we don't, I'll be happy. Um, but yeah, I decided to put all of Dalmajang together. I do have the photo book as well, OT7, but I don't repop that photo book, so I'm not going to put that in. Also, I have these OT7. So this is the bigger postcard set, and the, I think this is a photo mini poster set, which I'm also not going to put in because they just take up so much room. If I get a new binder, maybe I'll do that, but for now, I'm actually thinking about selling them as member sets. So. Uh, look out on my Instagram if you're interested in getting a member set. Uh, I don't know when I'll post it though because I'm working so much so I need to I need to have some time off just to go through everything that I have to sell. I forgot that I have these. Hang on. Uh, so this is actually hotel stuff but it's kind of like more merch hotel stuff. Uh, I'll make a page up of it but I don't know where I'm actually going to put it in the binder so I might put it in like the third binder but for now I'm still obsessed with this key card to get into the room it's so pretty oh I also have the group post oh my gosh I also have the group postcard which I need to work out where to put that uh, oh this was the thing that I was talking about so this is just the information about that four cut photo but I, where am I going to put the group postcard I also want to put these in somewhere. Maybe they could come in one of these pockets. Or with the group postcard, I can make up another page. Yeah, that might work. Uh, but for now, I'm working on this, so let's do this. It's just kind of random bits and bobs from the hotel and the live place, so. Uh, where do I put it though? I'll work on these binders off camera. I'm going to put it there. Doesn't make sense, I don't think. <laughs> Let's go to the third binder. Oh my gosh, it's so full. Ooh, no. Ooh, no, 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 no. New binder is coming. The third and final OT7 binder starts off with exhibition and concept now because I I feel like they are really, really doing a lot for this lately. Uh, I rearranged this so that it was also like a inward facing pattern. And I did actually initially photocopy these, but I managed to come across some extra JK cards, which is these two. So I'm going to replace them with the official cards. Nice, nice. Awesome source, quite a bit of glare, sorry, let me fix it. Someone started using a power tool. It's 15 minutes later, they seem to have stopped using the power tool. <laughs> Let's keep going. 
Oh, still my favorite section of my binder, I think. Because these were exhibition, I'm going to put them in here. So, exhibition postcards. Uh, I'm actually going to have them face inwards with the hands on the outside, yeah? These are the last of the pockets that I have, the big four pockets, so... <laughs> and I'm putting them in unsleeved at the moment. I will sleeve them eventually, so Hobie needs to be here. Hobie's is just my favourite. Look at that jawline. Oh my gosh, J-Hope. <laughs> And RM's pimp. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely no regrets whatsoever doing those 027. <laughs> I will admit though, I think I actually prefer the hand postcards over the lenties. The lenties are kind of like hard to focus on and they look a bit messy like in the binder because they're not all like one image at one time. Jimin. And Jimin and uh, Jin's are not, oh, look at Jimin's little hand, are not like looking up per se, they're just like shifting up. Taze is to die for. Oh, I need to die. And then I did collect an extra JK of him looking into my soul with his uh, little little tattoo hand. So that one will go in there like that. And yeah, again, I'll make a filler probably. But that's how that is sitting. So much glare, but I love it. It's so gorgeous. And let's me face all the hands inwards instead. What do you guys think? Should I make it just like a complete hand page instead of a complete like lenty page? Because I'm kind of vibing with the hands a bit more. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, anyway, let's move on from the simping. Also managed to complete these. I haven't actually put up the vlog of me doing any of this yet, so sorry. Uh, spoiler alert, I did complete OT7 for the Lucky Doors. We may have cheated a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you'll have to wait for the vlog to see how we managed to do this. But yeah, completed these. These are actually reselling for like not much money, which is really good, really cool. Okay, V and JK Hay is down there. And in order to actually fill out this page, I do have two cards already to go in. Because I ended up going to the exhibition three times, ended up with three of the lucky drawers, and I'm just gonna keep them. So JK's will go in his own binder. You saw the vlog of me actually pulling that, but then the other two members that I ended up with was RM, because look at the look at the dorky drawing. I love it. And then I collected my favorite drawing, which is actually Gingy's. Jimin's was really, really cute as well. So was Tay's actually. Yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, Yungi. I managed to get Yungi's as well. Uh, which completes bias line for them, but they're not going to be together in one spot. Unfortunately, I kind of, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it would have been good to do like a line of them, but that's how that page is going to be set up for now. Whether or not I do change it and just get some other little images to put in there and use those in maybe like a different section of my binder. Not sure, but I like it. It's really pretty. And you get the other member standing next to them. Unless I put them in order of like the map, like JK's here, so I could put them next to each other. But uh, no, that's just going to be too messy. <laughs> next up are the bookmarks, and have really, really been contemplating about how to actually store these because I have seen that they do fit like this. So I could put. I could put the seven of them in, in like four down here, but what am I gonna put at the top is the question. So for now, while I'm still contemplating what on earth I'm gonna do with these, I'm just gonna put them in an eight pocket and have a lot of space around them. 
Unless I just put like some shiny paper behind them or anything. If anyone has any ideas, please let me know. Or I could like cut up something that was exhibition related and put it at the top in the four sleeves. I'm not sure. I did remove the actual like film that was on top of this. They had a little like plastic film uh, that I thought I would just get off of it so that I could see the images a bit clearer. These are not sleeved though. I will eventually sleeve them, but I'm not really sure how I want to set this out quite yet. They do fit nicely in eight pockets. They also fit in like the, the six pockets, uh, but they got a lot of room around them. So I decided not to do that. Or well, even though they would be facing the right way, so I might change my mind and just put some shiny paper behind them. But I really, really am obsessed with the images of these. I think that they are really nice quality. They did really, really well with the proof merch. Um, yeah, really well. Because lately we've been getting kind of, kind of not great quality stuff. So it's really nice to actually get some stuff they have obviously invested a little bit of money into. Uh, speaking of JK, this was JK's, so I don't know why I have that here, but... Oh, I also have this sticker, so I think I have two of these. Maybe I could put that as one of the fillers in, although it's in this theme. Do I have any? I don't think they have any proof merch in this theme, except for the lucky drawers, so it probably wouldn't suit, but I need to put that sticker somewhere. But the next set of PCs are these ones, which are the eight pocket sized ones. Been seeing a lot of people use like the Japanese nine pocket size uh, sleeves that fit the cards like this way. I really, really like that, but I would have to rearrange so much stuff in terms of, uh, in terms of, <laughs> But oh, unless I don't use it in the JK binder, or I could just use it in the OT7 binder. I really, really like the look of them. And then everything's like facing the same way and it looks really uniformed and nice, but it would just be a lot of work. And I have already like put so much money into getting these, these pockets, that the eight pocket sleeves, they just fit so nicely in them. I, I don't know. <laughs> Should I redo my binders? If they use the nine pockets. Hmm. It's just, it looks kind of messy having things facing the right way and then facing sideways and then facing the right way. So these cards are actually from the uh, the key ring photo card holder. They did come also with like a set of the album jackets, like each album, and they fit in the eight pockets as well. They're eight pocket size, unfortunately. It would have been good if they were nine pocket size to put like in with as a filler in all of the Korean photo card sets that we've had. But you know, Hive doesn't... I am an army collector, so they didn't have that idea. <laughs> that is that set in. This was also another random sticker that you could get uh, with the lucky drawers. Didn't actually realize you could get two different stickers, but yeah, you can get this one or this one. Definitely prefer this one. It's so good looking. Look at all of their draw lines. Oh my gosh. And this one's quite far away. It's just them, just them vibing behind the sheets. I think, oh yeah. I put the extra one that I had on the back of here. So yeah, it does go well with this set, which was a nice little surprise. If you can see, they actually have a black hollow. I'm hoping that they utilize this in the future because I think it's really, really pretty. Anyway, that's just my two cents. <laughs> uh, let's move on. Not much more to go. Definitely not. This is all season's greeting. Which will we get for? I don't have anything for membership at the moment. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything. I haven't ordered my membership kit. I'm still missing Jimin for this. I have been watching a couple and I'm just... Mm. And yeah, I, I will eventually just have to bite the bullet and purchase him, I think. Holman TV does not have anything new. Oh, yes, it does. It does. It does. So Filmin TV. <laughs> okay. I double collected these cards because I couldn't photocopy them because they're clear cards. Um, yes, so this is JK's first season of In the Soup. I'm gonna turn around the hollow paper and slide the little boy in. There we go. 
need to put something down here though. Like the packaging, like I'm going to use the packaging from the second season, but in the first season the packaging was um, clear, so there was nothing to put down there. So maybe I can make a group card somehow. And then this one I'm also going to turn around. And this one I'm going to turn around. This is like a foil paper. I think my stomach just grumbled. <laughs> that one in up there. And then, as I said, this is just the packaging that the actual photo cards came in. And I was going to utilize it like that. Cute! Cute, cute, cute! This is a different color one, though. <laughs> and then double collected this one. So you can just slide in. Down here now. Ooh, yay! They are reunited. Yes! In terms of collab, I do not have anything for collab. I do have some stuff coming, but I've decided to really, really cut back on collecting OT7 for collab. Berlin. I do have like the, the, the 101 PCs and that kind of thing, but I, it's just going to take up so much room. I'm not going to put them in. Also, the mini DR combiner that they're coming out with, just, I'm not going to put them in either. It just, it's just going to be way, way, way too much. So, I think that is actually it for this binder update. Let me close it up and then I'll do a little outro. Oh no! This one is also very full. I'm going to have to split it up. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in another one very, very soon. I'm now gonna do JK's binder update. Uh, goodbye, have a good day. Subscribe down below if you did enjoy and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Purple.